Hi everyone and welcome to Shorty Street Scandal. Each Sunday I share with you my favourite Shorten Street moments of the week. Heartbreaking moment of the week. Recently, Clementine got attacked by a homeless guy or something. I'm not really sure what happened there. But she had to get surgery on her spine. Count backwards from 10 for me. I'll count one direction. <laughs> Liam. Niall. Zane. Yes! No, <laughs> he left. What? I should have bloody seen this coming. In that same episode, Curtis saw the future and he said this. Oi! <laughs> Hey, what's with you? Did your favourite boy band split up? And just before she went into surgery, Clementine called out to her true love. New character of the week. There is a new character on the streets this week, Drew McCaskill. He's a rich man who stole Chris and Boyd's car parks. I have to park in Siberia now. Oh, so what? The walk will do me good. Can we focus, please? Parking by the rubbish bins, though. I'm very sensitive to bad smells. Chris, you have a three million dollar house, and yet you're complaining about being sensitive to bad smells? Drew McCaskill took a special liking to Kylie, calling her blondie and hottie a lot. Actually, I'll see you after. Okay, blondie. I want blondie. But he did try and protect her when Panya was being mean to her. Do you think I'm going to let my blondie feel victimised? No way in hell. No, the girl you call blondie would never feel victimised. This character has quite a lot of drama surrounding him. He also kissed Harper, which caused her to ask Boyd to marry her. Wait, is his name Boyd or Brad? Hey Brad. Boyd got her a ring, but it was actually a pretty crappy one, just a 3D printed one. <laughs> it's just a prototype. Brad? Naughty! Leanne moment of the week. This week Leanne met a new man called Howard, but she told him that her name was Rachel McKenna, CEO of Shortland Street Hospital. Delighted to meet you Rachel, I'm Howard. So when he came to the hospital, she had to hide under the desk and hide behind some flowers. Bloody iconic. Aha, our potential benefactor I think. What did you want to say to me? Rachel! He forgave her though and gave her a new car and an X-rated note. No, you don't have to tell me what's in that X-rated note. They went to Rachel's party together. Victoria was really drunk. Rachel was not impressed. I unconditionally apologise for any offence I may have given you or your guests. You were a dick. She had had a really hard day though, guys. Jeez. Damn, that's all we need. Old white men stalking us. Creepy scene of the week. This week Panya's scheming continued. She has gone bloody crazy. She broke into TK and Kylie's house and did the unthinkable. Kissed a toy baby. Oh my god, that's scheming, bitch. She then started living with Kylie and TK again, and in the night, she bloody tried to kill Tilly. Panya? Tilly woke me up. Tilly woke me up, so I stabbed her with a giant knife. TK in the end realised that Panya killed Caleb, so Panya stole Tilly and drove away. Where's Daddy? I want Daddy now. Daddy! Tilly. Daddy. I think Tilly wants her daddy. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Shorty Street Scandal. Cheers for watching. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Oh, and Amy Asherwood, who used to play Emma on the show, really wanted me to tell you guys that she's doing a play next week at the Basement Theatre in Auckland. I'm going to go watch it. I'm very excited. It's called Sweet Phoebe. You can book the tickets. I'll put a link in the description. Goodbye.